Now let us start with our basic operation of how we can move our object. So any object that is placed in our 3D area can be moved in x, y or z direction. Let me enable the z direction over here or z axis for visibility. So red, green and blue they are representing our axis. Now if I wanted to move this object first of all I will use this move tool from here. So as soon as you will select the move tool you will notice a three headed arrow appears with these three squares also in different colors red, green and blue. Obviously now it is understandable that they are representing my directions of axis. Fine. Similarly anything that you will select over here will show up those axis arrows. Now to move this object in X or Y or Z, I simply need to click and drag that arrow in that particular direction and I can move the object. Fine. Similarly, I can move my object in X, Y or Z direction in this manner. This movement or change in its location or current location can be observed in the properties box over here. If you click on the object properties you will see the location three locations are displayed over here and you can notice if I move it on y it is moving towards positive y direction this is our 0 comma 0 comma 0 so this side is the negative y direction right and this is x positive x negative direction you can see that in the location information and similarly you can do this over here now the precise adjustments can be done from here. When you move your mouse cursor on this, it turns into a double headed arrow and you can drag it left and right to change this. Right? Similarly, you can do for X and Y and Z, all the three of them. You can use this side keys or side arrows for small movement or you can probably type in directly. Like if I want to relocate it back to 0, 0, 0, I can do this or maybe I can do the precise adjustment from these things. Okay, so till now we have seen moving our object in x, y and z directions. But what if we wanted to move our object in x or y or any of the two directions except for one of these directions. So with your tool selected you can see this four square is coming up red, green and blue. Now with the arrow keys, arrow keys represents their respective movement for that direction, right? Here, this color basically represents movement restricted in that direction. Or you can say except for that direction, your object will move in the remaining two directions. So in this case, except Z, my object can move in X and Y. I can move my object in X and Y. You can observe it here in this box. So if I move it, notice that Z is fixed. Similarly, if I take this green, Y will be fixed and remaining two will be changing. And similarly, if I take this red, I can move it around in this particular manner. So using the tool, we can move our object, any of the objects and relocate them wherever suitable, either by using these arrows or in some other direction. In the next video, I will discuss about how to actually move the object using the keyboard shortcut and also the different ways of movement and arbitrary movement of the object.